Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're discussing the goodness of God, and last time we determined that God is everywhere. This time, is anything else besides God everywhere? Now, when we talk about something being everywhere, we usually mean that it encompasses all of space, and as we've said in past episodes, God isn't a body, but is able to be present at many points of space, despite not physically occupying them. So when we say God is everywhere, we don't just mean that he's present to all of space. If that was all we meant, the universe would also be everywhere, since the universe simply is all of space and time considered as a whole. When we say that God is everywhere, we don't just mean that he's in every place, or even every time, but that he's present to all of reality, including the parts of reality that aren't space and time. For example, we all know that Niagara Falls, or the Grand Canyon, or the Painted Cliffs, or the landscapes of New Zealand are beautiful, so beauty must be real in some fashion. Yet you won't find beauty hidden under a rock anywhere in time or space. In the same way as beauty is a non-physical part of reality, so God is also non-physical and real. But the universe doesn't extend into the non-physical parts of reality the way that God does. Furthermore, because God is not physical, he can be completely in every place, just as beauty can be present in multiple locations without needing to be split into pieces. Niagara Falls doesn't need to share its rations of beauty with the Painted Cliffs or the Tianzi Mountains. This makes God much more present than even the universe, since only a part of the universe can be present in any one location. All of time and space is less present than God for this reason. Beauty and other non-physical realities, like loyalty and nobility, are also not as present as God, since there are always places or times where they aren't present. For example, there can't be beauty in complete darkness, and there are lots of places with no nobility or loyalty. The only thing that you could say is present everywhere in the same sense as God is existence itself, and that's only because all existence comes from God. Nothing else would exist without him bringing it into existence and sustaining it. So there just isn't anything other than God which is everywhere in the same sense that God is. God is more everywhere than anything else is. Next time, is God totally unchanging? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.